Am I interrupting something? Yeah, I'm okay. You? Yeah, I should be with you about 11, traffic permitting. What? Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm... I just haven't been sleeping very well recently. Yeah, I'll see you then. Call, come with me now. What are you gonna do to me? What? I'm not gonna hurt you. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Why is this happening to me? It's happening. Deal with it. What did those men want with me? They aren't men. What? Look, just take this one step at a time, okay? There's a lot going on that you're going to find pretty difficult to accept. I think it's safe to go. What are you talking about? What's your name? Amanda. 
Amanda? Welcome to the world of shadows. to know. It's my life for Christ's sake. Just walk with me and I'll tell you everything that's going down. I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll tell me what's going down Look, here. we don't have time for this. Look, those that attacked you are powerful demons. Desperate to possess something that's embedded in your soul. My soul? Everyone has a soul, Amanda. And yours in particular is of great importance. Why? Over the last three months, People have been turning up dead all over the world. A guy in New York was found with his head cut off. A woman in Istanbul was found with her back broken. Some guy in London This was... is all very tragic, but what has it got to do with me? Out of the 84 cases reported, the one thing all the victims had in common was midnight, April 17th, 1974. The day and time that I was born. That's right! The things that attacked you now know that you're the one they're looking for and they will stop at nothing! until they find you. What is it I've got? What am I carrying? An ancient encryption passed down through centuries. An encryption? For what? Opening a portal to hell. Wait just one second. Just for argument's sake, we say that I accept this demon crap. Why is my birthday so important? Because that's when the last person carrying the encryption died. We need to find transport. I've found it. <laughs> the time is approaching. And this woman is the key to our absolute dominion over this realm. Our glorious master should ascend upon this place and destroy it. Or enslave it, as he sees fit. Endless suffering and degradation will be nourishment for us to fill the world until we can do it. Almost like the horses is thinking about it. <laughs> Bring her to me. Like now? when I see her. I'm not until about four o'clock. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but I'll, I'll sort it out. Yeah. Hey! You okay? Yeah, I think so. So what's your story in all of this? It's not your concern. The hell it is! My whole life has been turned upside down and you won't give me anything in return! The car! Look, maybe you're right and I'm sorry. 
Look, my wife Catherine died. She was murdered. It was in Austria. We were coming back from our hotel after a night at the theatre. We got lost. We ended up deserted in the middle of nowhere. We were attacked. Out of the shadows, they, they moved so silently. I tried to help Catherine, but there was nothing I could do. They, they were too powerful for me to do anything. Why did they pick you? I mean, were you trying to combat these things back then? No, the attack was random. They were, they were demons in search of souls to devour. But when they attacked Catherine, something went wrong. All hell let loose. I'm not following this. Catherine was carrying the code. Her death released it. It can only inhabit a newborn, so a far more important prize had presented itself, and their search began. So how long have they been looking? Since April 17th, 1974. But that would make you late 40s, at least. When Catherine died, when the code was released, I was touched in some way, reborn. As far as I was concerned, I died that day in Austria. But what about the other creatures? How did you survive? I, I blacked out. I was... I was found, brought back to health by the Council. The Council? We're a secret army that fights the darkness. Not even the Vatican knows we exist. Look, I think we'd better go. Where? The Sanctuary. The Council will keep you safe until all of this is over. Shall we kill him? And then eat him. I wonder how he tastes. Leave him to rot. Those were our orders. This is it. She is the one. It's an unassuming being, she is. Yeah. yeah. You could do the makeup yourself. <sighs> Sorry, didn't quite catch that. You were saying? <sighs> Let us clearly understand one another here. You are nothing. Nobody. Just a pitiful insect that I control. Ancient one is waiting to be released from an eternity of imprisonment. And you are the key that's making it happen. <laughs> Prepare her for the ritual. I go and slip into something more comfortable. I disagree, Jared. His judgment is becoming clouded. But he is the most suited for the task. Something is proven on numerous occasions. I agree with Faye. There are still other things to be done. So are we agreed. Go. Cool. They have her. We know. We've had a mental link with you for some time. I thought so. You're hurt. Time is running out. We need to find the hive before midnight. Patience, Cole. The matter is in hand. 
What are you talking about? We'll send someone else to retrieve the girl. We have another task for you now. What? You're not serious, are you? We require that you find the lamb. The what? The ritual requires a lamb. They don't have it yet. What do you want me to do? Knock up every farmhouse in the country? This is bullshit. And what if I can't find this lamb or whatever you call it? There is no other way. She must be destroyed. No! There is no way that I'm going to let this go. A powerful witch controls the hive. The girl will be under her influence by now. It would be too late to save her anyway. I couldn't give a shit who controls the hive or how omnipotent she is. As far as I'm concerned, she's just another demon bitch with attitude. Think about it, Cole. Let the girl find peace before she is damned forever. Well, you'd be rattling on. I've linked with your minds and now know where she is. You may be the council, but you're wrong about this. It's not your concern anymore! We'll see. You don't suppose you feel particularly happy about all this, do you? Not that it matters. After midnight tonight, all you have ever known, all you have ever loved, will be destroyed forever. You are going to open the gateway for us. The ancient one is really eager to stretch your legs in this world again. And if you're good, I mean, really, really good, I might just let you suffer excruciating pain before I feed what's left of your rotten carcass to some of the hungry jackals I know. Do what you want, you sad bitch. Let me give you the pleasure. We're really going to have to control that tongue of yours. Maybe it should be removed. <laughs> no. Then I won't pay your place for mercy. And as always, fun for my own entertainment. <laughs> I think it's time to begin. Dead or alive, she would be seen in an outfit like that. Has the portal begun to open? The ritual, did they complete it? No. Did they find the lamb? No, just a little bumbo jumbo. Nothing's actually happened yet. Something's not right here. It doesn't matter. The important thing is to get you out of there. Put you down once, I can do it again. Wouldn't hurt you with Catherine, would you? I have so much plan for you. Get out of my way. 